You may be looking at the new Green Bay Police Station. I'm Preston Stober outside of the old Press Gazette building where city planners are eyeing downtown change. This is Brian Johnson, the president of Green Bay's Common Council. He says the police department is in need of new headquarters. Modern day police force just has evolved and, and methods have changed. And so our facilities need to reflect that as well. He says GBPD is also just growing too big for their current home. A current proposal is for the city to buy the old Green Bay Press Gazette building and turn it into the new police station. It has the space that aligns with the profile of what our police department needs. But the deal doesn't stop there. The city would pay $3.6 million for the old Gazette building and three nearby lots to the current owner. The owner will acquire three city-owned properties, including two fire stations, with the intent to renovate all three properties. That's what the city wants to see. We don't want to hold land just for the sake of holding it. We want to see it developed. And, and that's exactly what this developer has to do as part of the terms of the agreement. Johnson says the developer has no set plan, but he could see the properties becoming mixed use or residential due to demand. We think that with the city as a partner at the table on some of these things, we can come up with real tangible solutions to some of our community's most pressing needs. The move would leave the city with options for the current police station, although Johnson says no decisions have been made on it just yet. We're going to experience significant cost savings. We're going to repurpose an old historic building and preserve it for another generation. These are all really positive outcomes of a deal like this. The proposal still has to be approved by the Finance Committee on Tuesday before being presented to the Common Council at their next meeting. In Green Bay, Preston Stober, NBC 26.